All right, get again. Okay, well, uh, yeah, finally got one side finished. Everything in place. Uh, yeah, I did pack that up a little bit more, just by another, like a washer thickness, just to be on the safe side. Also had an issue, had an issue with a brake drum, it's been scraping for a long time. And, uh, yeah, what I found is it was actually dented. And, uh, which was probably me anyway when I first got the thing trying to free the brakes up by whacking it with Emma. But yeah, I was sort of thinking about how I was gonna, I was just gonna back the brakes right off. And I thought, nah, I don't really want to do that. But yeah, I ended up getting the uh, the angle grinder in there with a flap disc. Like I worked out exactly where it was touching. And. Uh, yeah, just got in there with a flap disc and just sort of, yeah, took half a mil off it, which was enough. We got it all done. Yeah, I did make up a uh, a new bump stop. Oh yeah, before I put the shocky back on. Yeah, I pushed it right up as far as it go, and then I, yeah, the, made up a. Bump stops, just a couple of bits of pipe, and a plate with a nut weld in the back of it. And, you know, again, I'll just use a hardware door stop. Like, I mean, yeah, gonna be a bit harder than the original if it ever, you know, it does, you know, come up that high. Well, I suppose it might probably load it up with passengers, but yeah, it might sort of hit a bit hard. It's not as soft as the original type ones, but anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to protect your shocky a bit. Shockies don't like bottoming out. That's the. Uh, that's what I'm doing. That's our shocky mount. I'll weld it up in place. We've got yeah. I bolted it on the top to see where it was actually going to sit freely. And, uh, yeah, the pack out a lot of washers in it. As I mentioned on the previous video, this is a swing arm shocky. It's not really designed for this sort of mount. And, uh, but yeah, they're supposed to clamp tight. You know, there, there's, yeah, there's a cross tube in the, oh, not the cross tube, but there's a tube in the, in the middle of it, middle tube, and it's supposed to bolt up tight against it, same as at the top. So yeah, I've packed it up with washers and tightened it right up. <sighs> so, we're, uh, we got it jacked up at right height. I was a bit concerned actually that This whole mechanism might stick out too far, but there's actually plenty of clearance. Uh, possibly if I was running standard wheels, it might not. But yeah, those are uh, Porsche wheels, or they're you know, made for Porsche wheels, made for Porsches. And uh, yeah, it's got a Porsche offset, so they're actually a bit wider. That's why I was having an issue with the front scraping on the guards, because they stick out wider than the standard bug wheel. And... Uh, yeah, so I sort of, well, it raised me confident I'd have clearance, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, I've checked it. I still, yeah, I've still got to put my guard bolts in. I forgot about that. I just noticed it. Anyway, um, I'm going to sit, sit down on the floor for the moment. And uh, I'm going to sit the wheel back on. And just see, well, you can't really, you won't be able to tell the real yeah, right height until I've got the other side done and, yeah, back on the ground. Like, I'm going to drop it back on the ground anyway because 
I haven't left myself enough room on the other side, so I'm going to put both wheels back on it and then uh, you get the jack under it, wheel it right over, so I've got to basically the same amount of room on the other side to do the other side. And uh, you're going to have to take a few measurements, two measurements of you know, where this. Yeah, so I sort of I worked out that the position of these yeah, from yeah where where the uh, CV joints stop start binding up and made sure I'm sort of well above doing damage to CV joints, but yeah, I want to make sure both sides are the same, so I'm gonna. Yeah, measure from probably from the bottom up to the top here or something like that and uh, yeah get some exact measurements so I can make the other side exactly the same anyway let's I'll sit the wheel back on let me just sort of see how much clearance we've actually got on the guard So, according to the way it is now, I think I've easily easily gained another two inches, maybe even more. Let's see, what have I got there? I've probably got six inches clearance now. Uh, yeah, it's a, I got a good foot clearance under the engine there. Yeah? So that was already an issue that um, aluminium yeah, bash plate that I put underneath has already got yeah, big holes and tears in it. I've only been out bush twice. And uh, yeah, last time I made it off, I had a panel boot at all and everything. Is it? I mean, that's what it's there for, you know. It's a whole lot better than busting your exhaust up and yeah, your engine casings. and So, yeah, better for that to get busted. But, yeah, I'd rather not hit at all, so. Yeah. yeah, so. If that is the true ride height, no. I said you can't. Yeah, be absolutely certain until you get both sides set up and get it back on its wheels, and even then you got to you know, bounce it around for a while, a few times, or take it for a drive, you know, and get the to tell exactly where it's going to sit. But yeah, it's looking good at the moment, looking real good. Of course, with those two, with the engine behind the wheel. Yeah, when you lift the back, it, it tends to lift the front as well. Uh, like it sort of takes the weight off it a bit. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I shall move it at that. And drop it down, move it now, do the other side. And uh, yeah, and then we'll see exactly where it's going to sit. And, uh, yeah, as for making up that 
yeah, unbottleable swing arm wrist. Yeah, that's an absolute bonus. Yeah, it's just so easy to take it on and off now. Like, I mean, I can't go any higher, but yeah. Let's see, yeah, I I got, I got to go on a three thousand k road trip soon, so. I may even drop it back down to where it was for the road trip. But I don't know. It sort of depends on how it handles on the road, how it handles its speed, and yeah, where it sits when it's all loaded up. And uh, yeah. However, yeah, that'll be an issue. Yeah, actually, where the shock is, I don't think I can lower it again. But anyway, whether I have to take it off again, yeah, replace the rubbers or rubber bushes or anything like that, yeah, it's just holy boozy in here. Anyway, we'll leave it at that and, uh, yeah, a couple of days and uh, we'll have it back on its wheels and going again and uh, we'll see where it actually really truly sits. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Bye.